chosen weapons. Hello. Hi. This is Kerry. And this is Kat. And, and we are T in Valhalla. Valhalla. You join us today in Snowdonia National Park. And we're taking you for a walk up Rinog Fwa today. Um, there's waterfalls, there's Roman Steppe, there's a Chlin. Various different autumnal treats await us. And there's Dave. And of course, we're joined by Dave today. <laughs> and no, as some of you asked last time, Dave doesn't have a YouTube channel. He just enjoys the outdoors. I think that's an Airbnb, which would be quite a, a lovely stay if you wanted a mountain HQ. Parked back down the road there, nice little free car park. Uh, limited parking spaces though. Oh, yeah, yeah, holiday letting. So our first stop off is going to be a really nice little waterfall. Dave's excited. Very excited. So the track starts off on like a bit of a hard track, which I guess is part of the farm here. Straight into this little wooded area. What a way to start a walk. Next this beautiful river, gently flowing, walking up towards a waterfall. It's not shabby is it, it's not shabby. We're in like a little wood, some of it's plantation. Few deciduous trees, beautiful. It's so green, it's really, really verdant here. I guess just because it's so wet, but not too wet. It's wet with drainage. Quite a well defined path to start with as we approach the waterfall. It really jumps out at you as you come around this corner. Absolute little beauty and a nice little pool too. is magnificent. We've only been walking for about 15 minutes. What is it that makes it so mesmerizing? I think even from a tiny age, I always felt the same way about them. Like you could walk through them and be another realm. I think I still think that. I know I still think that. Yippee ki yay! <laughs> so the Hrinogs are now opening up in the background. Unfortunately, it's being kissed by clouds at the moment. So hopefully that sort of starts to dissipate. I mean, the winds are going to be about 30 miles per hour. So I'm hoping it blows it over a little bit, but... So this deep pass here was carved out by glaciers during the ice age. And it actually means the gateway to... The Ardiroy? And as you come through that gate past the little information board there, you pick up a, a nice stony path leading you off into the Badlands. And then we should shortly um, join the Roman Steppe. The Roman Steppes aren't actually Roman. Don't believe they're Roman. It's believed to be an old pony path, an old sort of passageway through for farming and wheeling and dealing back in the days. is obviously surrounded by this vast marshland and the reason they're so sturdy and probably the only extremely high ground for quite a distance is because they're made of like a, a very sturdy silt mud and sandstone but they also have dolerite running through 
in deep veins through the mountains. Keeps them even more st steady. They're pretty domineering mountains actually. They're like a giant spine of mountains that come all the way from Barmer up. And uh, when we stayed in Barmer a couple of years ago now, we actually walked most of that ridge from Barmer and then went back the way we came. And I tell you, that was great fun. So hopefully one day soon we'll be able to um, recreate that and film it because it was really very lovely. Davis still bamboozled by the intricacies and the placement of these walls and how they literally run up the side of the mountains. It is amazing, they are amazing. So I mean, they incorporate big boulders and things as well, it's always nice. But we're just heading up the Roman steps now, putting our behind us up in the, the cloud still. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Proper wild, remote, and untamed part of Snowdonia. Still working our way up the Renogs on this lovely bouldery path. Treacherous and uh, got to watch your foot in. Closer to the Lynn now, aren't we, as well? Yeah, well, there's one more plateau and then the Lynn. Yep. So, or the Clin. Clin. It's been lush, isn't it, so far? Absolutely, yeah. It's glorious up here. Blowing it's a, a bit of a hoolie. Yeah. yeah, I was going to say, I have bought the drone, but at the moment it's a little bit windy to, to fly Eagle One, so just carry her for the time being. So, before we get round to the Lynn, we're going to stop and have a cup of tea yep. on one of Kat's homemade flapjacks and just soak up some of these views back down into the valley. Yaki da! We've just finished our tea sandwich stop. Kat's just said her hands are getting cold. Again, the gloves and hat are with us. Start placing your bets now when you're first going to see them. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, we're getting near Clin now. Just up around this little scrambly section and we're gonna work our way around the lake and we start taking you up to the summit. On to a moonscape section. Um got this lovely mudstone here, it goes all the way up now to the Glen. Um and we have to sort of skirt around. But it's look at it. Honestly, it's like another world, isn't it? Actually reminds me a bit of Scarfell Pike. But uh more dramatic here, I think. Oh, very good. So it's out the path there. I think so. It's kind of got a freestyle a little bit, mate. Just Dave's just sort of clocking how um, undefined this part of the path is. Pick a rock, pick a path, and gently approach in case you get a wobbly one. And Dave's, st <laughs> Dave's down the path. I've just veered off, talking to you guys, distracted. Heading off the wrong direction. Yeah. 
So we've just arrived at Hlinvi. Wind is blowing a huli. And we're just gonna try and make the little scramble around now. Pick up the path on the other side next to the wall, which is where near where we camped last July. If you haven't already seen that video, have a look. That's our first talking video. Uh, oh, you just slapped yourself in the face a few times. Yeah, a very rustic first attempt at talking to the camera. So you've just got to be a little bit careful as you come around this path. Most of the boulders are huge and won't move, but there is the odd wobbly one. Yeah, for sure. Um, can use your hands obviously as well. picking up this beautiful stone wall behind us, heading up to the towards the summit now. Probably about halfway-ish, maybe. love this part of Snowdonia in North Wales. Rough, rugged, quiet, perfect. Wind's picked up again, clouds still moving, still hopeful that we might get some views. We've at least had views whilst we've been climbing, which would be nice. And I hope you can hear me because it is all kinds of windy. I should mention the real reason we're here in the Renogs today and that reason is gold. There's gold in them there hills. Really, there's gold being reportedly found here in North Wales. We're going to get the pans out yet. We bought Dave especially. He's got a good eye for gold, copper and silver. I'd love to do a bit of gold panning. Is it the Klondike? Tony Beats. Hashtag yeah. Tony Beats. Yeah, hashtag Tony Beats. <laughs> gold Rush. The trig point has just come into sight. Always welcome. At 700 
120 meters. This is Renault Quad. So we're just taking advantage of the storm shelter behind the tree here at the summit. We're gonna have a cup of tea and a bit of flapjack. We've waited up here a little while, haven't we? We've had a cup of tea, a bit to eat. The views keep coming and going. Sadly, nothing we can share with you, unfortunately, but rest assured, I promise, it's absolutely breathtaking up here. It's well worth the climb, isn't it? Yeah. I can hear people. There's peeps coming, so that's not fair. Stranger danger, so it's we'll, we'll vacate the premises. Amazing that now everything has just opened up, all these views, right out to see. Beautiful. Over there is Port Mary and I can see it. Oh, hello. So that's the estuary going in there. Irish Sea obviously out there. Amazing. Chosen weapons. Let the skimming commence. Come on, Davis. One, two. It's absolute That's shit. Okay, Boys, this is how you skim. He said. Oh, 
Okay. It's ice skip. Okay. Seven. 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 Go <laughs> 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 go over this one. Yeah, go. <laughs> I think I'm um, the loser of this competition. I'm not sure if there are any real winners. Except for me. So, <laughs> following the same route back down over the Roman steps, uh, through the forest, and back down to our lovely free car park. left the Rinogs and the Roman steps and the waterfalls and everything behind us. It's been an absolutely brilliant day. Shame the cloud was in on the summit, yeah. but we did get views on the way back down. Yeah. And we had the, the drone out for a little bit there it's as well. It was really good fun, wasn't it? It yeah. was, just, it was really enjoyable regardless of yeah. the weather, really. Yeah, it's just always nice to be out and up a hill, up a mountain if you can. Um, nice little trig points, good little storm shelter and a couple of cups of teas to boot. Yeah. Um, so if you've enjoyed today's video, don't forget, smash that like button. Leave us a little comment down below. If you're new to the channel, think about subscribing and clicking that bell notification. Long. It's a free way to show some support for the channel and it really appreciated. We do. We just ticked over 800 subscribers now. Yes, so thank you. Thank you all very much, old and new. Really appreciate it again, thank you. Um, Dave, you had a good day? Yeah, great day, thank you very much. Excellent. Um, until next time, stay safe and well. And keep enjoying those green spaces. <laughs>